Hey guys, this is MG with, with another tutorial whether how you can create your Facebook business page. So to create your Facebook business page, sign into your Facebook account and go to page under this menu. Now give your page a name which can be your business, brand, organization, or something that can help people recognize you or your business. Since this page is about for tutorial purpose, let's name it Go Easy With Tag. Now select some categories you will post your contents about, which should clearly describe your products or services, so that Facebook not just show your content, but also recommend your page to your potential audience. Since I work as a freelancer and offer my primary services in accountancy, I'm selecting two categories for now, which we can change if we want. Now, in bio, write something that not just tell your potential audience about your expertise, but also induce them to get in touch with you. So, since I offer my services in accountancy, I will post my contents about my accounting services. Now, click on Create Page to create your Facebook business page. Well, after creating the page, Facebook recommends you to complete the following five steps to finish setting up your page. So the first one is whether how your potential customers will contact you. So if you have a website, write the address of your website here. You can also give your phone number as well as an email address. And if your business has a physical location, give its address here. Then select hours your shop is open for public. Since I work as a freelancer and have no physical location, I'm selecting the first option and then clicking on next. Now the second step is to add logo and cover image of your business so that people can recognize and associate with you. Also, you can customize the action button whether how people will get in touch with you. Well, I will customize it later. Then click on next. Now, the third step is to add your direct contact WhatsApp number. If you want, just add the cell number here and Facebook will send you a code to add it here. Then you will be able to create a WhatsApp button on your Facebook page where people can contact you. Since I'm not adding it for now, I'm skipping this step. Now, the fourth step is to invite people to follow your page. Well, at this point in time, I won't recommend you to invite people. First, create a bunch of content and then start inviting people so that they have an idea about your business. So for now, I'm just inviting a bunch of people. Then click on next. Now the fifth step is to turn the Facebook features like notifications and promotional emails on, which will help Facebook to grow your page by sending you notifications and emails filled with tips like this. Then click on done. Now, the basic setup of your business page has completed. And when you will click on your profile icon, you will see two different profiles. One is for your personal Facebook page and the other one is for your business page. Now, go to the About tab and add some more details about your business. Well, here you can add or change the categories we added earlier. And also, you can add other information you didn't add earlier. Here you can add profile links of your other social media platforms. Let's add Pinterest for now. Just copy the link of your Pinterest profile 
and then find and select the Pinterest here and then paste the link here. And exactly the same way, you can add all the other social media platforms profile links here. Well, here you can add some basic information about you and your business, like price range, specific services, languages, birthday or founding date. And also, you can specify the gender too. Well, under privacy and legal information, you can add the link of your business privacy policy page available on your website. And under work and education, you can add your work experience and education. And other general information about you, people can relate. Also, check the other tabs if you need to add or change some information. Anyhow, Facebook is recommending you to take the following step so that it can start recommending or advertising your page to the audience that is interested in your content and product or services. But before taking these steps, I'm changing the two important settings of my page, which I do recommend to others to change them right away. The first one is to change the link of your business page and the second one is to stop others from posting on your business page. So to do that, go to settings, And under Page Setup, go to Name tab. Here, click on Edit. Now, add the username you kept of your business page, which is Go Easy with Tech in my case. And then click on Save Changes. It may or may not ask you to add your password again. Now, your page link or username has been changed, which is convenient and easy to remember. Now, to stop others from posting on your business page, go to Page and Tagging under Settings. Here, who can post on your page is set to everyone, which we want to change. So, click on it and select Only Me, and then click on Done. Now, no one else can post on your page. Well, all the other setting options are already set to the best interest of your business page, but you still can check them all and change them according to your needs. like restricting your page from certain country or countries.
Now, to set up your business page for advertising, you can go to Ad Center and complete the remaining steps here. Also, you can answer some questions so that the Facebook algorithm has somewhat idea about your advertising strategy before you even start advertising on Facebook. So click on get help with building your advertising strategy and answer the following questions. Well, since I work virtually, I'm selecting no here. You sure can select yes and then add your business location address. Well, do you have a website? Yes. Do people buy products on your website? Well, in my case, it's services, and I'm still selecting yes. Do people book appointments on your website? Yes. Do you get leads through your website? Yes. Do you want people to contact you? Yes. How do you want people to contact you? Well, I'm selecting message on Facebook. You can select other options if they fit your need. Now, add some topics your audience will be interested in. Now, add some photos and videos that represent your business. Now click on submit. And remember, it's not hard and fast. You can change them anytime you want. Now let's create the first post. So click here and add an image or images if you need to. Then write something about your post and click on next. Here you can change the audience whether who can see your post. I'm keeping it to public since I don't have relevant audience yet. And here you can schedule your post. And also you can share your post on different groups if you have joined them via your Facebook business page. Moreover, you can boost your post by creating an ad. Well, for now, I'm just posting it simply. Here, Facebook is recommending you to add send message button on your post, which will help your audience to send you message right away. Anyhow, I'm not adding it for now. Now, your first post has just been posted. And here you will be able to see the stats of your post or a specific post, whether how well it did. Since I have just posted it, there are no stats available for now. Anyhow, if you are conscious about your brand colors, you can create your post using a combination of your brand colors. And if you want, you can convert your post into an event to grow your followers and chat with them directly. For now, I'm clicking on publish original post and it will publish it as a regular post. Now let's add an action button so that if a potential customer wants to connect, he or she can connect conveniently. So to add it, click on add action button under this ellipsis icon. And then click on try it. Here you can see that it's set to send message by default which looks like this on the page. Well here are a number of options you can utilize according to your needs. Let's say I change it to learn more 
and then click on next here add your website link so that people can visit your website to learn more about your products and services and then click on save and this is how it will look like and when someone will click on it he she will be led to the website where he she can read more about your products or services and if for some reason you want to change the action button click on edit action button under this ellipsis icon and then click on change button and then just select the one you want and follow the on screen instructions to set it up well i'm just changing it back to the send message again anyhow after establishing your page never ignore the stats of your page which you can check under professional dashboard and insights because the stats will tell you whether how well your page is doing and what sort of audience is taking interest in your content products and services moreover with the passage of time your page will grow which will help you earn from every original content you will post on your page so start posting content to be eligible for monetization anyhow this is how you can create your facebook business page and if you have stayed this far please consider supporting by liking subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comment section and i hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching